day and God bless. Apostle Ken Smith coming to you this morning from Ontario, California. Just coming to share the word of God with the saints of the Most High. Amen. And to all those that just want to join in and hear what does say at the Spirit of the Lord. I'm telling you, God is moving in the midst of all that's going forth. Can I tell you this? I was asking the, the Lord even on this morning as I was coming in, I asked the question. I just felt it coming forth in my spirit. And I was asking the Lord, um, why? Why are we here? Why are we going through? Why are we coming in to share the word of God? When I look around, can I be real with you? When I look around and I see so many of the saints um, seemingly as though they have, I won't say gone astray, but somehow or another in the midst of things just have kind of, kind of gone in the sense of just going their way. It, it would appear that in the midst of everything that's transpiring that we have set God on the backside or on the back burner. It's not that we've forgotten him because in light or in lieu of everything that's transpiring, there's still a certain need or understanding that I need God. But there's no sense of, how would you say, with on our part, the sense of where we have urgency to mm -hmm. seek his face. Okay. It's as though we've been in this place that it's, mm -hmm. it's like, uh, kind of like when you look in the word of God in the day of Noah and the Bible responds, responds or records some things about in that day, how it would be uh, versus in a, we're dealing with things in the midst of things we're dealing and going forth as though, okay, we've accepted this is our normal or our norm. And so this is what we do. At the same time, there's no sense of how you say, a sense of seeking the face of God. We're in the midst of things where everybody's debating and arguing and going forth with everybody's got an opinion and a thought. Everybody has something, but no one seems to really be seeking the face of God. And so I was asking the Lord again, even into this end, because now someone's going to tell me, say, now that's not everybody. True, that's, that it's not everybody. But I want to say something and just kind of hang on with me for a moment because I'm seeing the real saints. And, and that, 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 that would imply that they're saints, but not real saints. It's like saying somebody's saved, but not really saved. You know, it's a play on words, but I want to say to you, those that really have the heart of God are really in tune or seeking after. And I, I believe that a lot of saints in this hour have been made to look like they just aren't there. Just like they're not going, they're not flowing, they're not doing. Uh, the saints, the real saints, have almost been in some regards to many as though they've been hiding. Though they're not hiding, it's just that they're just set apart. They they set themselves aside, if you will, to really seek the face of God. And so in seeking the face of God, everybody else is asking and wondering, when will we come back? Well, no, 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 don't miss my point. Don't miss my point. We, we, we've never left, but yet we're not in the place, the building of fellowship. Amen. But yet we should be building our fellowship Amen. in Christ. Amen. Amen. I believe something's been lost in the midst of things, and let me just just hold with me. I'm gonna to get to this place because I was asking the Lord. I said, Father, right now it appears that the saints have gone missing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, that, that's me talking. That's me talking, right? But I was talking to the Lord, and I said, Father, I said, now listen, do we really believe? Let, let me make it personal. I say, I asked him, do I really believe? Well, why am I here? What am I doing this for? I'm not doing it for Facebook followers. I'm not doing it to just to say to encourage people, but I'm doing it because of my love for God. Amen. Well, I'm doing it also because if I see this, I saw this in Isaiah, I heard the Lord saying it, I know it's real. He said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me Amen. because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Amen. 
He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Can I tell you, people are in a dilemma right now. Many hearts are breaking. Many hearts are broken. Many men are dying because of their hearts are failing them because of fear. He said, I sent you to proclaim the liberty to the captives. Man, people are being held in captivity, not because of the natural, but because of the spiritual. They're being held in captivity because of different things, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm telling you, God has brought us to a place. We are to come forth. There has to be an anointing. Somebody has to know him. Somebody has to walk in this place. Somebody cannot, we cannot afford to get caught up in everything everything that's going on. We can't become the political. Listen, folks, we can't become the political form. We've got to be the voice of God. Help me, Holy Ghost. And so I'm asking, I'm saying, God, what is it that you want? What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? I'm coming this morning because I know God's given us an anointing. Someone asked me to pray this morning and I was kind of, you ever get to the place in prayer, you're reluctant to pray. But I said, my God, they're asking for prayer. I said, Father, do I believe prayer? I begin to pray. What they were, I don't know about them, but, but the moment I opened my mouth and set my face, if you will, as unto Father, unto Daddy, as I set my face, there was a sense of, God, I believe you. The moment I believe set in that motion, Father, I believe you, something was set in motion in me. I believe the Holy Ghost began with an anointing on me. I could feel the anointing of God within me. And I, I tell you, I don't know about them, but I was ready. It's like, hey, you don't have you don't have to be there, but I'm there with you because the power of God, the presence of God is within me. Amen. If if nothing else, I know he's in me. Amen. Amen. He's anointed Amen. me to preach. Good tidings of them. He sent me to bind up to bind up the broken heart. Folks, I'm telling you, there's a power from God. There's an anointing to destroy the yokes of bondage. Amen. We're called in this hour. We're needed in this hour. Saints of God, you may not be in the building, but we've got to be in the building. Amen. Glory to God. Someone has to know that the Spirit of God is alive Amen. because He resides in you. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Whoo! So we're called to this place. God wants to unleash or open the prisons that many of our people in. Do you know people are bound up, and it's not because they're they're set. How you say they're they're in captive. They're in captivity, and it's not because they had to be in quarantine. It's not because they stayed in their home. People are in a place right now where they need to be loosed by the power of God. Amen. Amen. Listen, can I tell you this? God's been trying to open the doors. He's been trying to free us in a place and in a way that we have not wanted to go and not wanted to do. Can I tell you, there are some saints that just need somebody else just to join in them with prayer. Listen, are you there this morning? Are you hearing this morning? What are you doing with your time? Help me, Holy Ghost. Let me get back to this place. He's called us to a place. And I'm telling you something. I'm going to jump real quick because I, I just tell you, because many of the saints of God have been walking in a place, Pastor Thelma, where they feel like, man, they feel disjointed. They, they feel discouraged. You know, how can I say it like this? Many of the saints, and I don't want you to misunderstand. I'm not trying to just talk to you about prosperity, but I want to tell you, you need to prosper in God. I want to tell you, I've been looking at some things that have disturbed my heart because it's just like people are flaunting their stuff, but I want us to flaunt our God. Somebody has to know that the God that we serve, he is greater than the situations that we face. Someone needs to know that our God has no boundaries and has no limits. In the midst of what we call a pandemic, God is still moving. Help me, Holy Ghost. Is he alive today? That's what I begin to ask. Father, are you still here? Oh, glory. Are you still present? <laughs> I'm asking yet knowing. The Spirit of God is present. Oh, yes. If he's not resident in anybody else, he's resident in me. Yes, yes. I want to tell you, if you want prayer, mm -hmm. if you're looking for some things to happen, mm -hmm. I tell you one person you can call, glory to God, because I believe God's doing it. Mm -hmm. 
I believe he's doing it. Someone said, well, I'm looking at you, but you don't look prosperous. You don't look like everything's happening. Let me tell you something. There's some things that are happening that God has been doing in me personally that it would not have happened if we hadn't had this happen. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that sounds like double talk. But the reality of it is that God has called some of us to be still. Amen. I'm a walker. Anybody like to walk like me? Glory to God. I can't sit still. Even when I'm at home, I'm up and moving. You know, it's hard to watch a movie, as they say, because I can't sit still. If it's going to be an hour, an hour of consistently sitting there, I'm going to have problems. Well, I want to tell you something. The Holy Spirit's been dealing with me, even in this place. I just want you to be, have patience in some things that I'm doing. There's some things that God's called me to do that I had to just sit in a space of time or in a place that is, for me, it's like here, sitting before you in this hour. I'm only sitting here because I'm telling you this is what God's called me to do. Amen. Some of you need to hear some. There's a power that God said it's time to unleash Amen. in you. Oh, there is yeah. a time and a season for all things. It's the season. Mm -hmm. It's a purpose for us being here. Amen. Get on back to on course. Okay. So I need you to hear something. Some of you are disturbed. It looks like nothing's happening. that hasn't been flowing. Can I tell you, I've been telling you, I, I know the Spirit of God spoke to me. Then mm -hmm. this season, there's some businesses that are going to flourish. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh, They're going to flourish yeah. oh, in this yeah. season, in this time, yeah. because God wants to use mm -hmm. his people. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. He wants somebody to see him. It's not about you and I. Yeah. It's not about us. It's about him being glorified. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like I've lost the whole glory. Just pray for me, this one. Hey, there's a place that you and I got to understand. It seems like we missed the mark in some places because we may have been made to look like we don't fit. And this is the thing I've been looking at. I've been looking at, and I want to tell you, the Holy Spirit has been ministering to me in some other places. And so while I was asking my questions, even on the day, God was reminding me, it looks like you don't have it. It looks like things are not going, but I'm in you. Thank you, Lord. He said, but I'm using you. Can I tell you this, folks? God's using you where you're at. Yeah, we're going to get together. We're going to get together soon, as they say. Soon is collectively a word that I'm utilizing. I don't know timing. I said, but we'll get together soon. If it's not in the same state, it we will collectively be together by the Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Listen, don't get discouraged. Don't be disturbed, but know and hear what God is saying. Amen. Wow. Listen, in verse 7 of Isaiah 61, there's a word that's going forth. And he said this, this word. I'm trying to hurry. He said, for your shame, for your shame. And there was something that was happening to the people as a place that they had gone into. And as, as the world looked upon them, as the nation looked upon them, it looked like these people that were following God. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're kind of the ones that are out. He says, for your shame. Mm -hmm. What is it? What does he mean? He means that place or that condition, that feeling or condition. You know, you ever feel like you, you just don't belong? Mm -hmm. You ever feel like you're ashamed? You ever feel like you just... You're just confused over the whole state of being. That's kind of like us. You know, uh, many of us as, as Christians, we say, well, wait a minute. Uh, Pastor Dummy, you ever feel like everybody's saying that judgment? I love it the way we say that judgment. If we just, if we would just do this or that, it's like judgments come on the nation. Mm -hmm. um, and nobody really, really understands or really looks close because when we talk about this nation, we say, uh, if the nation, we talk about the nation, but if you really look at what God speaks about, he doesn't speak about the nation. Mm -hmm. He says, if my people, Amen. Amen. if my people mm -hmm. who are called by my name, mm -hmm. he's not talking because when you look at this thing, it's not something that's centered on America. Mm -hmm. It's right. centered on the world. Amen. Amen. But he says, my people, mm -hmm. and I, I don't want to take things out of context. I just want you to understand something. We keep focusing on the wrong things. I want you to hear something today because the Spirit of God is speaking to his people. Mm -hmm. Yet, if you don't know him, you can know him. You can be a part of it. Again, it brings that thing about exclusive club stuff. I want you to be a part of it. 
is he hasn't excluded anybody. He says, for whosoever will, let him come. He, he says, all it takes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have a, Amen. it's simplistic. Amen. It's Amen. simplistic. Thank it's about Lord. a relationship. It's not a re religion. It's relationship. In this relationship, he just wants you to come. I know I'm all over the map, but I need you to understand this. There's something he wants you to have. Amen. There's something he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And this is the time of the season for it. There's some things that has to be cleared out, mm -hmm. to be cleared up, Amen. that he can flow in Amen. you. Amen. There's some things that God Amen. wants to use you to touch oh, somebody yeah. else's life. Oh, God yeah. is causing an anointing to be on you Thank to you bring Lord. somebody else into the kingdom. Amen. Oh, glory Thank to God. Lord. And in verse 7 in Isaiah 61, he says, for your shame, mm -hmm. you shall have double. Mm -hmm. Wow. God's promising them yes. that they're going to have double mm -hmm. for the confusion, the shame, the misunderstanding. Yeah. Some of that misunderstanding is just what's on the inside of them. Some of you are believing like, yeah, there's something wrong with me. I've done something wrong. I'm way at something. Some of this is because how the world has viewed you. Some of this is how you have been placed. God says, but you sh for your shame, you shall have, he was talking to these people, you shall have double. And for your confusion, mm -hmm. and it sounds like, it sounds like the same word was being used, but he says before your disgrace, mm -hmm. your dis confusion, your dishonor, your reproach, your shame, he said for these things that have been brought up on you, mm -hmm. but basically for them, it had been brought up because of the people, how the people view the people of God. How they had walked in that place. I, I'm sure if we want to get into it, I'm not just doing it the way I should be doing it, but I'm trying to hurry. Is this making sense to you? Because the Spirit of God wants you to understand. Many of you have been in this place. Mm -hmm. Disgrace, misplaced, mis, mis, how you say, misaligned because of how the world has viewed you as you stood for Christ. Mm -hmm. He says, for your shame, you shall have double. You, and for confusion, they shall rejoice. And there's some people that's getting ready to see you come into this place by the Spirit. Amen. Wow. It's some things he's getting ready to do. So well, wait a minute. That sounds confusing. That sounds, uh, and really it, it's prophetic in the sense that if I say it like this, for us, it becomes prophetic because the Lord is saying there's a change that's coming. Yet it doesn't look like it. And Pastor Dumb, I want to tell you, we haven't looked like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if you ever kind of look into the word of God and you begin to, to see those Hebrew boys when they went into the fiery furnace, one of the things that happened is that the Bible records to us that after coming out, mm -hmm. they didn't even smell That's right. like they had been around Amen. fire. Amen. You know, and now this is important because, you know, it, it, even if they had gone into the furnace, mm -hmm. Or if you've been into the forest when it was burning, right. you come out, even if you didn't get burned, oh, yes. you come out smelling like you were in fire or like around fire or a part of the fire. They came yeah. out. Thank you, Lord. Nothing was sin. There's nothing even seemed like it had been yes. touched you, by fire. Nothing had been touched. Let me tell you something. God's going to bring Thank some of you, you out of this mm -hmm. place that you've been in, and you're not going to look like you've been scathed Amen. by this situation. Amen. He's going to cause people to see in you what no one would even believe. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Right. I want you to know this. This is just, It's just real. Thank we've been Lord. walking in some horrific places. We've been walking in some difficult places. We've been walking in some terrible places. We've been walking in some places that have been hard to adjust. Anybody felt like giving up? Turning around. And the funny thing about that, you say that, there's nowhere to go. Thank you. <laughs> there's nowhere to run to you. unless you run into him. Mm -hmm. But we've been feeling like it. And like I tell you, I see a lot of us that in the midst of this, we've kind of moved to the left. Mm -hmm. We've kind of moved to a way where it looks like we're not, we're so obscured. The line is so come so obscure, it's hard to tell if you're really his or not. Uh -oh. And it's not because it's not because of the world, it's because we started to look like the world. Mm -hmm. Not just look like, we started to sound like. Mm -hmm. We, we, we started to become like the world. Amen. Amen. 
I want to remind you, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you today. God has placed an anointing on you. Now, let, listen, yeah. this is an anointing that God's talking about, something he's brushed or painted us on us. This anointing was meant to destroy the yokes of bondage. Amen. Not Thank only the Lord. yokes of bondage of others, but the yokes and bondage that are upon us. Amen. God is meant that the anointing would destroy the things that have held us in a place where we couldn't move. Praise God. Can I tell you today? Praise God. The Holy Ghost has anointed you. Yes. There's a move. There's a flow. There's a, there Praise is, God. by the Spirit, something that God is desiring of you. Now, now, can I specifically tell you what you're called to do? Yeah, I can look at you, but then I'd be calling everybody out and telling everybody what their call is. But I want to tell you one of the things that I know for certain, each of us have been called to intercede one Amen. for another. Amen. Can I tell you, we're called at a point in time like none other to intercede on behalf of one another. Mm -hmm. We're called right now to get into a place. You say, well, wait a minute, there's no fellowship. There will be in the spirit, folks. Amen. God's calling us to intercede. If you're all right, if you feel like you're all right, mm -hmm. glory to God, then pray for somebody else. Amen. We have an anointing to pray. Amen. The Bible Amen. says that man ought to Amen. pray and not faint. We're in a season where we need to pray. There's an anointing for oh, prayer. Yeah. I know I'm all over the map. I'm, forgive me, folks, forgive me. I, I, I'm telling you, I started out, I got two, three different things that I want to share but I know the Holy Ghost wouldn't let allow me to go there, and I just feel like, hey, I'm still trying to get somewhere. But if this makes sense to you, I need you to understand. Amen. He's calling you. Amen. Uh, there's an anointing for it. Now, can oh, I just speak? Yes. Can I speak clearly? Can I Thank speak you, clearly? Lord. I'm telling you, the anointing of God mm -hmm. is speaking. He wants to break those yokes. Thank you, Lord. He Thank wants to break Lord. those yokes. Yeah. Thank Listen, you, can I tell you this? Okay. When I was coming, I was Thank asking. I said, God, you know, why am I here? I know why I'm here. Mm -hmm. It's my love for him. Mm -hmm. If nothing else matters, what matters is that I do the will of God. Amen. Amen. Now listen, listen, listen. I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. Did I come here because of Facebook? Did I come out of obligation? Did I come out of responsibility? No. I came because I know it's the will of God Amen. to share his word. Yes, now, now what's, what's ironic and what's funny as I started recognizing, I love prayer. I love worship. And no one has to be there for me to Amen. do those things. Amen. I, I recognize Amen. that late at night, I'm subject to get up oh, just yes. to get in the presence of God. Yes. Yes. And so yes. I know it's an anointing of God mm -hmm. for me for, to do those things. Amen. It's my love for him. So nothing else. There's no arterial motive, folks, other than to do the will of God. Amen. Can I tell you, we've lost, some of us have lost our way. Mm. <clears throat> Why you say that? Because the reality is mm -hmm. we're so caught up in everything, but God's getting ready to make, cause a move to come. Thank but I Lord. need you, if never before, take somebody, embrace this, mm -hmm. this thought. Mm -hmm. I need to be praying for somebody. Mm -hmm. And listen, listen, so I don't lose, lose, lose this sense. I need you to pray. If you've never prayed for anybody else before, get a name. Hey, Amen. if no other name, my name's Ken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need you to get in a place that you're going to spend some real time. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Intercede. Yes. It's, yes. When I'm talking about intercede, you're going to have to put, set aside mm -hmm. some time for this. Now, listen, right. folks. Now, now, now I just kind of be real with you. I know with the technology that we have, mm -hmm. you can set your TV. Mm -hmm. So your program, you can watch it later. That's right. Set aside some time That's right. that you're going to pray. Mm -hmm. Some time you're going to pray and ask the Father if it's a name that you've been given, it's a name you've taken, I tell you, you've taken my name, ask the Lord, what should I pray for this mm -hmm. man? Mm -hmm. But we're called to intercede. It's time for us to see the power of God being demonstrated oh, and dis yes. distributed Amen. in a different kind of way than what we've been seeing. It's time, folks, if, I, if ever we can stop playing church, mm -hmm. 
if we can ever stop being religious and have a relationship, it's now. God's calling you to a deeper water, a deeper place. It's time. There's some things I want to share, guys. You just got to hear this. He wants to take you into a place like never before. You ever wanted your, your, your attention captured? You ever wanted your attention to be captured? It, 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 let me say it like this where you understand it. You ever turn on a movie, and when you turn on the movie, and in the first five minutes, it didn't capture your attention. Mm -hmm. You felt yourself nodding off. Mm -hmm. and, and your words to someone is, hey, you either find something else or I'm going to have to let this go. Thank you. I want to tell you, God wants to capture mm -hmm. your attention again. Yes. He wants to be the center of your life, yeah. the center of your world. Can I tell you, whatever you're lacking, he has what you need. Yes, he does. Let me get back. Does this help anybody? Because yeah. I'm telling you, there's an anointing. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have it, I want to pray for it. Because mm -hmm. he's talking about it, the spirit of God. The yeah. spirit of God is upon me. Can I say it like this? Let me say it like this in, in a way that makes sense. There was a time when the people spoke about the shadow. They were afraid, literally, in, in, in certain times, the people were afraid of certain people's shadow. Mm -hmm. If there was a bad man and he was standing in a certain way where the sun caused his shadow to fall, people literally would run mm -hmm. from his shadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say run from his shadow? They would run from his shadow because they said if his shadow was to fall on him, fall on them, Everything that was about that man would now be upon them. Can I tell you, we want the shadow of the most high of God upon us. The spirit of God, when the spirit of God falls on you and I, everything about God comes on us. I hope I'm in the right house with this. Amen. The spirit of God desires for you to yield yourself that he might come in, move some things out that he can come in. Thank you, Lord. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Thank you, Lord. And he's given me agenda. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, you've had your agenda. It's time to get rid of yours and take on his. Why are we here this morning, Pastor Tama? Mm -hmm. We have an agenda, Amen. but it's not ours. Right. Sure is. The reason why we come out, mm -hmm. it's not because we just saying, hey, let's minister to the people mm -hmm. in this fashion. Mm -hmm. We have an agenda that's, that's right. not ours. Right. He wants you to know he's calling you. And I, I need you to understand mm -hmm. the agenda for many of you right now is mm -hmm. just to pray. Amen. Some of you lost sight in prayer time. Amen. Lost sight the sense of prayer. Mm -hmm. I, I know I'm all over the map for you this morning. I apologize, but only in the sense I believe the Lord would have me just cover a number of things. I pray this will help you. You have got to pray. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I made a joke out of it because there's no one else you can pray for. Pray for me. Glory to God. That's numbers over. You can't see her. Pray She's saying, me. pray for her. Pray for me. <laughs> My brother Anthony's over there. He, you know, he's like, hey, pray for us. Mm -hmm. But listen, we need to pray as a body of believers that God is moving. Not what you think. Mm -hmm. Hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. Amen. There are people that are in a place today that they need to hear mm -hmm. the good things. They need to hear that God is still on the throne. Mm -hmm. They need to hear, you know, the news as we share it, the news that we share one with another is usually news that's bad, news that we've heard from what they call the, the national networks, if you are our networks. Mm -hmm. And we share that news, but no one wants to share the good tidings Amen. of God. Amen. No one wants to share what thus saith the Lord. Amen. No one wants to share that Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. And I'm here to tell you today, God wants you to share with somebody Amen. about Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so there are people that are in this place that are hurting and they need to hear about mm -hmm. this. They need to hear about what it is that you truly believe. Mm -hmm. Not your opinions. Amen. Not your opinions. But they need to hear the spirit of the Lord. Oh, we need God. someone that's willing to reach out and embrace mm -hmm. some people because Amen. people are not in the place that you and I would think they should be. Right. I don't want to hear about your religion. Mm -hmm. But let them know about your relationship. Amen. Let them see the relationship of God. Glory to God. I, I know, it's, again, I stated it's all over the map. But I'm telling you, God is calling us to a place 
We have to reach. We have to touch. We have to do some things that we've never done before. Amen. It's in the Amen. season. It's in the season. God wants to use you and I in unique and different ways. They, they're going to see the power of God. They're going to see the anointing of God Amen. that's on our lives because we're ready to do something that we couldn't have done before. Amen. But some of you is just because you're going to take the time to get before the Lord. That's right. Whew. Let's do this. Let's pray. I, I, I feel like I feel like you, I've been over and over some things today. Ah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. But I'm telling you, though, the Spirit of God is here. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of God is here. He desires. He desires. He desires more for you. But what does more look like? What does more look like? Well, it may just for you, it just may mean more of yourself as unto him. How much more can I give? God just wants you to surrender your ways, your thoughts. I, I, I'm finding in the midst of each day, there's some things that I thought I yielded, but I really hadn't. Sometimes I find that, that I haven't yielded because I'm upset or bothered because something didn't go quite the way I wanted it to. I found that I really didn't really yield in that place. Sometimes because I, notice how I say I, I find out some things about myself whereby I have not yielded and that's the place that they say, Father, help me. You know, how simple, how unique, whatever it is, God's calling you to a place Amen. to let go of your ideas. It may be your value system. It may be the way you look at things. Maybe your opinions. God's calling you to let go. Amen. But in its replace, everything God wants to take away, he wants to give you something. Amen. He wants to give you his perspective. Amen. I don't know if we have heaven's view, views yet. Uh, I, I, I've listened to, listened to everybody, if you will, or listened to everyone that comes in contact. And I'm trying to listen with a different ear than I have before. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be patient like I haven't been before. You know, I, I feel like at times I've been that person that I thought I was listening, but I really wasn't. I thought that I didn't have an agenda, only to find that I did. Now I want to tell you, God wants you to get rid of your agendas, mm -hmm. get rid of your menu, and put what he wants, desires, upon Amen. your menu and his agenda Amen. in your heart. Can I say it in that fashion? It's like we've been seeking Amen. after things. We've kind of been like when you go to Burger King, I know I can get it my way. God really wants you and I to settle into a place that even if you don't get what you want, but if it's what he desires, it's what's best for you and for me. Amen. Is anyone here that really will surrender? This is a season and a time. God's going to take you in a new way, a new place. There's a spirit of God to break or excuse me, to destroy the yokes of bondage. Amen. God wants to use us to speak to a nation of people. Thank you, Lord. God wants to use you and I to begin with just the one. Maybe it's in our own house. Maybe it's the people next door. Mm -hmm. But someone has to see Christ because he resides in you. Amen. Someone has to know the power of God because it's anchored within you. And what you have, you're willing to share with somebody else. Amen. Glory to God. I don't know if this is for you. I know it's for me. Amen. Will you pray with me this day? Yes. Father, I'm thanking you. Thank you I'm Lord. thanking you. I'm thanking you for your word. I'm thank thanking you, you for your time. Thank you, I, I, I thank you, Lord. It just seems like we were all over vacillating mm -hmm. from point to point. But I know there's some things that you want yes. the people of God to yes. hear. I know there are people that are hurting that need to be healed. I know there are individuals that really are in a place they feel like there's no hope and they feel helpless. But Father, for those of us that recognize that you are real and that you are God and put all the political things aside, put all the perspectives of what's happening in the world aside and we recognize that you're still God and you're still on the throne and that you reign supreme. And Father, for those of us Thank that are in Lord. that place right now, we come and we touch and agree. Mm. We touch and agree. You, Father, Lord. that you're going to speak to us and oh, speak to yes. your people. Speak to those that are seeking you. Amen. And Lord, that an tangible anointing. You know, mm. even to this end, Father, as I was praying today, Jesus. praying about people that, that are sick, mm. when I think about it, Jesus, Jesus when I think about what Jesus said, it said, by his stripes, 
we were healed by his stripes we were here and father i believe it i entrust it i take upon it the covenant relationship i walk in it i thank you for your word right now i thank you for your word right now and for those that are standing in a place right now that need healing i thank you for your healing virtue moving on them i thank you for the divine connection that comes forth ah glory to god father i'm thanking you for people that are standing in need right now i thank you spirit of god moving in places financially moving upon the hearts and minds of individuals to hear as you tell them what to do and how to sow in the places i thank you for you're going to cause individuals to partner to partner in places now to covenant with others in a way that it's going to cause them marketably to go forth in a different way than they could have ever gone before. I thank you that you're going to bless over and above anything that we could ask or think, and so it would be in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, for what you have done and what you're going to do. And Lord, I, I know today is different, unique, but you're setting us on a course like never before, and I give you the glory for it now. In Jesus' mighty name, we all pray. Saints of God, say amen. I pray that if this word of God has been a blessing to you, I pray that if in some way it has caused you to stop, to think, to consider, I pray that today that you would be one of those that will consider partnering with us, that will consider, if you will, to be in a place that you're going to pray for us, a partner, prayer, and finances, whatever, how the Holy Ghost seems fit to do it. But I want to tell you, that if you're one of those, I need you today to move into a place. I, and better yet, let me say it like this. I challenge you mm -hmm. to go into a place to begin to seek God like never before. Amen. I challenge you oh, to pray. Yes. I Please. challenge you mm -hmm. to intercede. I don't care if this is another ministry or whatever, because we're all the ministry of God. Mm -hmm. We're all called ministers of reconciliation. Can I tell you? I believe the Holy Ghost is calling us mm -hmm. to intercede one for another. Amen. Will you pray for someone, pray for ministry, pray for individuals, take that time, mm -hmm. set it aside, that you and the Lord might be able to do something that you've never done before. Amen. Right now, in Jesus' name, call it forth, let it be done. So I want to say to you, the word works mm -hmm. if you will work the word. We now have three ways that you can give. You can go to our website at agapecommunityfellowship.com, go to the bottom and click on the Givelify link. That's one way. Way number two is to give through Zelle. To give through Zelle, just go to your bank account, click on the Zelle uh, icon. The email address for that is agapeint for us at yahoo.com. The third way to pay is go to the P.O. Box 1222, Pomona, California, 91767. Thank you.